first thing we talked about was your posture. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you can see now a difference yeah, in the, the yeah. left hand side, the right hand side. Yeah. All that's happened is you basically push your hips backwards and yeah. up to get your back. So this, this angle's still there, but that being a little bit flatter creates that sort of curvature in the mm. spine, which is obviously going to restrict your movement, make it a bit harder if you just swing in any sort of efficient way. Right hand grip, now we said we a little bit more on top. Now your checkpoints with your left hand, again, both are in the fingers, sort of two knuckles there of your top mm-hmm. hand, sort of these two here. And then your right thumb especially is going to sort of sit pad on top of that left thumb there. It's going to disappear underneath there. And again, pressure-wise, nice and loose. That's Mm -hmm. the key thing, okay? Now, in terms of the swing, we said about trying to just think about hinging the wrist, get that club working up better. What you'll see now when someone says you keep your arms straight, you'll just see on the way back on the left-hand side when you're trying to keep both arms straight, okay? So that right arm now is very straight and very locked. The club's sort of working back around you here. And when we get to the top of the backswing here, now that club face, I think it's about there, it sort of slows down. We can see now the club face is pointing over there. Mm-hmm. There's your left arm. That's kind of where the club needs to be pointing, okay? Mm-hmm. Almost a full, well, it's like 35, it's almost 90 degrees turn mm-hmm. reset, all right? We watch this as you go back here now and attempt to try and hinge your wrists. You can see now your right arm as it goes back actually starts softening there, you see? Yeah. So your right arm now is nice and hinging correctly. Yeah. Top of the backswing. Look at that club face. Yeah, so your club good. face now is more in line with your yeah, left arm, whereas good. that one, as we said, is there and there. So we've yeah. turned that club face now probably the 60, 70 degrees you wanted to. Mm. So when you came back to the golf ball, because the golf ball in the past with this club face up here was going this way, you mm-hmm. created a downswing move and that sort of leaning back, as we showed you on the other camera from face on, to hit the golf ball that way. Yeah. And two wrongs can make a right after enough shots when you get a bit of repetition and you fe- figured out how to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But now when that club's going back to the golf ball now, we can unwind the body nicely. Good strike, the club face now, just a little bit to the right there, which is fine, but a good movement through, good balanced movement, as we can see as a result of that, the ball now just sort of going down the right hand side. And most of your shots there, if I go toward the end there, we're kind of aiming in this, yeah. in kind of that sort of area there, just right of target, which is absolutely fine, because you're getting a consistency, and your dispersion was kind of all quite close around mm-hmm. there, wasn't it? Whereas before you had some sort of going over here, over there, and yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of variety. Yeah. And again, if you're inconsistent all over the place, you keep chopping and changing from one shot to the next. Yeah. You're just reacting every single time. Yeah. Certainly, though, try to get away from that feeling of keep your left arm straight, or keep any arm straight for that matter. Keep your head down and slow things down. We want club head speed. Yeah. We want arms to sort of bend and move. And actually, mm-hmm. we're not hinging them this way, but right arm's got to soft on the way back. That's, that's your arms on both sides of the golf swing. Yeah. Straighter with the left arm there, and then straight with the right arm mm-hmm. there. But if you try to lock both arms, yeah. it's not going to function correctly. Okay. So the swing thought now, once you get looser in the right hand grip and the right hand's on top more. Yeah. Better posture there at address, mm-hmm. okay? All you're thinking about now is just hinge those wrists on the way back. Yeah. Allow the arm, and in some way, by thinking of hinging the wrist, your right arm just naturally started to bend anyway, mm-hmm. as opposed to, we sort of went to here, your right arm sort of quite stiff and quite tense on top there, whereas this one here now, you can see that arm, see the club now is a little bit higher, yeah. this right arm starting to soften, okay? Mm-hmm. That's still quite straight that right arm, isn't it? Yeah, okay. The yeah. elbow's disappearing yeah. behind your hand because yeah. you know, that club now is working up a little bit. So, mm-hmm. again, body parts are working as they would want to work just based on one swing thought. Yeah. Hinge the wrists, hit the ball. Yeah. Work on that, I would say, for a week or two till that becomes comfortable. Mm-hmm. And then we'll come down to the next time. Make yeah. sense? Yeah, happy Excellent.